Hello and welcome to XP Actuarial's introductory video series. Today we will give you a refresher on probability and statistics. We will cover various topics that are important for this exam. Now the first concept we'll cover are moments and variance. Now suppose you have a density f of x and you want to find the first moment expected value of x. Well, all you do is you simply integrate x f of x dx. If you want the second moment, you integrate x squared f of x dx. And finally, if you want the nth moment, you integrate x to the n f of x dx. Now the variance of x is equal to the second moment of x minus the first moment squared. And the final concept is the standard deviation of x, which we label sigma x. That is simply equal to the square root of the variance of x. Now some common distributions that come up on the exam are the binomial, Poisson, uniform, exponential, normal, and log normal. Now for the binomial, we have a probability function equal to n choose x, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. Now the expected value of x is np, and the variance of x is np, 1 minus p. Now the Poisson has a probability function equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x, over x factorial. And the expected value of x is lambda, and the variance of x is also lambda. So for, for the Poisson distribution, the mean is equal to the variance. Now with the uniform distribution, we awfully, often see in the uh, exam material that x is approximately uniform between a and b, or between 0 and 1, or whatever you want the values to be a or b. Well, the density of this is simply 1 over b minus a. And the first moment, or the expected value, is simply a plus b over 2. And the variance is b minus a squared over 12. Now the exponential, we often write x is approximately exponential with parameter lambda. Well, the density can be written as lambda e to the negative lambda x, where the expected value of x is 1 over lambda, and the variance of x is 1 over lambda squared. Now the final two distributions that I'll cover are the normal and log normal distribution. So the density of the normal is 1 over the square root of 2 pi multiplied by sigma multiplied by e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. Now we know that the mean is equal to mu and the variance is equal to sigma squared. Now with the log normal we get f of x is equal to 1 over x square root 2 pi sigma e to the negative ln x minus mu squared all over 2 sigma squared. Now the expected value of x for a log normal is e to the mu plus 0 0.5 sigma squared. And the variance of x is equal to e to the sigma squared minus 1 multiplied by the expected value of x squared. Now the next concept we'll cover is the collective risk model. Now suppose that we know that the number of claims is n and that the size of the claims is x. And we are told that n is independent of x. So the number of claims is independent of the size of the claims. And we want to find the aggregate amount of claims s, such that s is equal to the sum of xi, where i can be any value between 1 and n. Now n is a random variable here, and x is our random variable here. It can be shown that if x and n are independent, the expected value of s is simply the product of the expected value of n and expected value of x. For the variance of s, 
is equal to the expected value of n multiplied by the variance of x plus the expected value of x squared multiplied by the variance of n. Now to show a quick example, we'll go through a simple example that will show these formulas. Now if x is normal with mean 0.1 and variance 0.3 and n is Poisson with lambda equal to 0.2 and we're also told that x and n are independent. Find the expected value of s and the variance of s. Well, the expected value of s is simply the expected value of n multiplied by the expected value of x. So that is 0.2 for our Poisson distribution and 0.1 for our normal. So it's 0 0.02. Now the variance of s is the expected value of n multiplied by the variance of x plus the expected value of x squared multiplied by the variance of n. So that's equal to 0.2 for a Poisson. Uh, the variance of x is 0.3 plus the expected value of x, which is 0.1, multiplied by the variance of n, which again is 0.2. And that gives us 0 0.062. Now the final two concepts we'll cover today are Bayes' rule and the total law of probability, or the law of total probability. Now Bayes' rule states that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A multiplied by the probability of A all over the probability of B. Sometimes we want this probability of B stated in terms of A and A complement or any of the values of A. If we have A and A complement we use this formula. The probability of B is equal to the probability of B given A multiplied by the probability of A plus the probability of B given A complement multiplied by the probability of A complement. And now if we have A1, A2 through AK, we can use this formula, which just splits out A into all of its components. This concludes this lesson and refresher on probability and statistics. Thanks for watching.